Virginia, Virginia is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Buffaloes and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. On the delay, and he's brought down immediately. Fourth down. And now they should come away with pretty good field position. So consider that a big stop. And this one is a beauty. <laughs> Tackle made at the 31 yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's on the run, got the corner. He's to the 40. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49. the job done and picks up the first down from the 36 yard line first down From the 19-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of four yards. That'll bring up third. It's the ninth play of the drive. Two tights, two tights. Four down, four down. 49, check 49, check 49. Yeah, the way seven. The 10. And they make the stop just outside the goal line. It's 
first down. First and goal here inside the five-yard line. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Touchdown, Cavs! He hits the PAT. A 10-play, 68-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. The score now, 7-0. And they can forget about returning this one. Virginia's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, Get your offense out there. They move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. From their own 25-yard line, second down. to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And even when you double-team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Take it down. 225. Five. About a five-yard pickup on the old play-action pass. The play-action throws the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. Nice play. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Under pressure. Quick pass. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. We've played one. The Cavaliers lead 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Right down. Has some daylight. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Hey, here, here I come. Here I come. Here I come. They'll bring him down around the 14-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Can't wrap him up. And he tackles him hard at the four-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And he's tackled at the four. First down pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Receiver for the touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Number 
Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's taken down at the 27th. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. at the 38-yard line. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. come up with a sack. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. This defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second So it's second down and about two yards to go. Man left, man left. Oh, you got deep? Here we go. Watch seven. Watch seven. Watch seven. Watch seven. Watch Makes it out to about the 50. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Two four seven. Two. Motion, motion, motion. He gets another set of downs and more importantly opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. From the 30 yard line. First down. Here's the throw, I don't think he got anything on that. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Zips it to the back. There's a missed tackle. And down he goes at the 20-yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. From the 20-yard line, first down. And he is drilled at the 26. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. Now. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Number 44 on the tackle at the 21-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Deep pass to the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. 
Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play. But he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy. He's got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Colorado is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Flushed and they got it. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Motion, motion. the stop at the 31. We've reached halftime and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. The Buffaloes with a three-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Colorado's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. That's a game seven. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. He steps out right around the 28-yard line, zips it to the tight end. As long as they're making completions and positive yards when they go to the air, then it can't be too bad of a plan. From their own 28-yard line, third down. Down, 
Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 35. the middle and he hits him hard at the 41 yard line not a real fancy play here just a smartly run route good protection and a well-placed ball most times you don't need much more than that first down 10 yards to go ball on the 41 yard line strike to the receiver and he's immediately tackled no that makes it second and ten Now and they need to get it down to the 31. Down, down. The mic. Now he tries to buy some time and they get the sack. Fourth down. Virginia can tie it up here with this kick. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. Fakes to the back. Catches it and he's immediately tackled behind the line. They get a one yard loss on that one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. From their own 24 yard line. Second down. And he stopped behind the line. Taken down at the 46-yard line. That's a First down. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Goes it in a hurry. Down around the 33 yard line. Gain of 13 yards. First down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. First and 10. Ball on the 21 yard line. I'm here all day. Inside the 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Third 
They're crowding the line. Touchdown, Colorado! Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he adds the extra point. So a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 17-10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Finds his man. First down. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46. Good job to identify the weakness in this defense. Any good offense will exploit those holes over and over again. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. He scrambles. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's going to try and scramble. Bumble! Touchdown, Cavs! So obviously a lot of excitement about that score here early in the fourth quarter, but they've got to get their heads back in it now. We've got a tight football game and a long way to go. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So here we are early in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game and a big, big possession coming up here. He's got it out to his tight end. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. 
Nice play fake. Has time. He's going to go for the home run. Into traffic, and it's picked off. It was time for somebody to step up and make a play. And boy, did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. From their own 26-yard line, first down. Five-yard line. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Three down, three down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. That brings, that brings up fourth, fourth and 11. 11. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's taken down to the 37-yard line. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's at midfield. Knocked out of bounds. That's the 43. Call it again, 20 yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 43. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Of five there. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get go. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets it out, he's met immediately. A loss of about six. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. They get this one off and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. He's on the run, and they got it. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. That brings up second and 13. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. Number 
Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Colorado will take their first time out of the half. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle at the 28-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Just under two minutes in the game. Makes the catch, and look out. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. That makes, that makes it first, it first and, ten. and ten. What are you doing? From their own 47 yard line. First down. Set the tone, defense. Let's go. Three down. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle around the 39 yard line. Number 21 with the tackle at the 39-yard line. First down. Raider, Raider, Raider. No, no, we're going. At 648. And down he goes around the 23-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Number 22. yard line. That makes it first and goal. And they make the stop at about the seven-yard line. That brings, up second and goal. that brings up a second and goal. Ball on the seven. We're going to overtime. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Come on, Gary! 288! And he just gets rid of it. Get up! Get up! Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. Makes it out to about the 13. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. Watch seven. Watch seven. Watch seven. Hey, come on, oh, come on, oh. Right Runs it, and he stopped short of the line of scrimmage. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. It's second and 12. Ball on the 15. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Going to the end zone. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Get 
gets out to around the 15. on the door. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Back to the line, maybe a yard on the pass. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. So the kicker comes on to try to win this game in overtime. The kick is up, and it is good. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Virginia 20, Colorado 17. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Curb Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.